Hello and welcome to this session of Biochemistry. This is Suresh Kumar Paswan, Associate Professor in USITS Indoor. Today we are going to discuss uh, uh, about uh, fatty liver. So, uh, fatty liver, these are also known as hepatic steostatis. Uh, there are two kinds of fatty liver. One is alcoholic fatty liver disease, another one is alcoholic fat, non alcoholic uh, fatty liver disease. So, mainly the alcohol is some, somewhat related. Uh, is responsible for uh, fatty liver disease. Let us see uh, what happens uh, in this fatty liver. So, uh, normal. This is a normal hepatic cell. It is having a nice nucleus. Uh, uh, so, uh, what happens? Like uh, this normal hepatic uh, cell, they have a certain amount of lipid inside them. And uh, nearly about two to five percent of uh, lipid, if it is uh, there in your uh, hepatic cells, uh, it is normal. So uh, the lipid it moves in inside or outside of your body of your uh, liver. There is no problem for that one. So what happens? Uh, this uh, when there is impairment of uh, uh, by alcohol in that case, uh, this lipid start growing or start getting deposited in your liver and it will start growing. So what happens, this is a real image of uh, uh, stereotactic hepatic cells. Here you can see the globules of uh, lipid globules has increased inside the body, in, inside the cell, hepatic cells. So what will happen, uh, it, it starts growing, it will push this nucleus into one corner of the cell. And further, uh, what will happen, it will damage the cell. So after uh, getting damaged, what will happen? Uh, the collagen will start getting deposited into this cell and this collagen fiber it will stiffen uh, your hepatic cells it will start getting deposited in all uh, this uh, hepatic cells it will start uh, getting the scar and this fib liver fibrosis will take place so the fiber will till get deposited in the liver and the liver will get stiffened this is one uh, real image of uh, uh, fatty liver in this one what happens this normal liver you have a small dot if you see here the small dots are the nucleus and it is having uniform structure so what, uh, what happens like if uh, lipid deposition is more in your liver you can see all this uh, these are the globules uh, lipid globules and they have pushed the nucleus in one side and after certain period of time uh, these uh, they will damage the liver and cirrhosis will take place and the further cirrhosis it may lead to hepatic carcinoma it may lead so how uh, this alcohol uh, plays role in this uh, fatty liver so in metabolism of alcohol this alcohol uh, when you take alcohol it gets metabolized in acetaldehyde in the liver and this acetaldehyde it gets converted into acetate where it requires NAD which NAD will convert to NADH. Uh, this one, uh, this, the metabolism, whole metabolism I, uh, I have taken and just want to uh, let you know that uh, in very brief how the glycolysis and uh, uh, beta oxidation take place and TCA cycle takes place. Here the glucose it get converted into glucose 6 phosphate and uh, then into glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. Here it consumes NAD and it forms NADH and it forms pyruvate. This pyruvate will only move inside the mitochondria okay another process uh, this fatty acid uh, adipose tissue where the fatty acid been uh, deposited in case of diabetes and starvation what will happen it will release acyl coa and from acyl coa this will uh, with the help of carnitine transport system it will get inside the mitochondria and go through the beta oxidation process where it forms ast acetyl coa so what is the common compound this is acetyl coa and this acetyl CoA, uh, it will get inside the TCA cycle and give you a lot of energy. This NADH, uh, if you see, all these are the form of energy. So, and further, like if it has to move out from the cell, so uh, this seat, it has to move out in the form of seat rate. This oxalo acetate, it will combine with seat rate and acetyl CoA, then. Uh, Oxalo acetate it will combine with acetyl CoA, then it forms citrate, and then only the citrate ion can move outside 
the mitochondria and will get converted into acetyl CoA, which will get converted into cholesterol. Likewise, uh, this acetyl CoA it gets converted into ketone bodies, and this ketone body it can move to the other part of the bodies in extrahepatic tissues, and uh, from uh, there it will uh, give the energy. So. The all in all the process, this acetyl CoA is an important compound. Acetyl CoA is the important compound. We'll see further. So what is happening here? If you see this NAD, which has been used in the metabolism of alcohol, this is also important compound. Here also in each and every process, you see this NAD has been required. So what happens? Uh, this uh, NAD and alcohol, the person consumes alcohol regularly. In that case, this NAD has been consumed by this alcohol in alcohol metabolism so from everywhere this alcohol metabolism uh, in alcohol metabolism NAD will be consumed and now this impairment will start taking place so all this process will, will stop when you uh, take alcohol and also one thing I just want to say that if you consume a lot of alcohol in that case what happened uh, the cytochrome P450 uh, uh, they will uh, be utilized in this process. So, what will happen? The lot, uh, large quantity of cytochrome P450 will be uh, uh, will be start generating. And in that case, uh, when you take drug, in that case, uh, uh, the metabolism uh, will be very fast of those drug, and you will not get effect. So, let us see here. Coming back here, response factors for fatty liver. So, there are two important factors which are responsible for fatty liver. One is synthesis of triglycerols. Triglycerol is an important factor. Another one is impairment in lipoprotein synthesis. These two things are mainly responsible for fatty liver. So, what happens? The fat which has been deposited in your the fat uh, which has been deposited in your body in the form of uh, in the adipose tissue, it will be get released when uh, when the uh, when the person is having diabetes mellitus. So there is uh, the glucose uh, will not be used in form of energy, and when there is a, a reduced amount of glucose in the case of starvation, so energy which has been required by the body it is uh, it will be released from in the form of fatty, uh, free fatty acid which will get converted into acetyl CoA that we have studied in our uh, lipid metabolism. So this acetyl, acetyl CoA is a very important uh, compound which will move inside the mitochondria. Okay. Here you see this acyl CoA is only the compound which can move inside the mitochondria to get into the process of beta oxidation to form acetyl CoA. Okay. So, what is happening when you have diabetes mellitus and in the case of starvation and in case of alcohol, the adipose tissue it will start releasing free fatty acid which will get converted into acyl CoA and that will convert into acetyl CoA and it will go in the process of beta oxidation. So what happens like uh, in beta oxidation it will form energy and it will not form, uh, it will not, uh, form uh, process in uh, move into the process of triacylglycerol. So what is happening it is moving into in this particular path. So in this particular path, this uh, if you consume alcohol, so what will happen? The NAD will be taken away by the alcohol metabolism, and this process will stop. So what will happen? This acyl CoA it get converted into diacylglycerol, and this diacylglycerol it will get converted into triacylglycerol, and that it will convert into fat or lipid, and it will store in the form of fatty liver. Okay, other route uh, this acyl to a, it may follow like it form diacylglycerol and it may form uh, phospholipid and from phospholipid it may form nascent VLDL. This nascent VLDL is very low density lipoprotein or freshly formed very low density lipoprotein. So why it is important because this is also uh, very low density lipoprotein is there so it can move out from the liver. So the thing is like if it is following this route then again it, it may deposit here uh, and if 
it is following this route it may come out from the liver so two things are there one is this particular route which uh, uh, by which uh, this fat can be consumed or this particular route by which the fat can come out so here if you, there is impairment in this particular lipoprotein synthesis so uh, for protein lipoprotein synthesis what are the important things like choline is there essential fatty acids are there and proteins are there which will form this nascent VLDL so what if there is deficiency in the essential fatty acid so what will happen this phospholipid will not be formed okay and if cholesterol is also responsible for forming this phospholipid uh, so then also uh, uh, this phospholipid will not be formed choline is an important factor so these are all the lipotropic factors and uh, like uh, choline betaine methane uh, inositol these are the lipotropic factors if their deficiency is there so phospholipid formation or VLDL formation will not take place and from this uh, if uh, the synthesis of apoprotein B which has been synthesized by protein if uh, their conversion uh, their conversion may also stop by uh, this chloroform or carbon tetrachloride ethionine pyromycin uh, this will stop here uh, the conversion into apoprotein B which will uh, stop converting stop uh, forming uh, nascent VLDL so if VLDL is not been synthesized so the lipoprotein it will not move out from your lip uh, from the liver so ultimately uh, in nutshell what we can say like uh, uh, if a person is having diabetes mellitus we have to be careful in that case uh, this fat uh, consumption will be very high in the case of starvation in the case of alcohol all these are the factors which will lead to the synthesis of fatty liver uh, or uh, they, they will be the cause of fatty liver other thing like uh, if uh, choline deficiency or uh, essential fatty acid uh, deficiency is there that's also will uh, stop this process of forming VLDL VLDL is not a good compound because this also uh, in further in other classes we'll uh, study about this one this is not a good thing but the thing that it will take out uh, take this fatty acid out from the uh, liver so uh, all this thing uh, these, these are the things from my side I hope uh, I have made some sense uh, the, all this part I have taken from uh, the biochemistry by uh, Satyanarayana Chakrapani uh, uh, if you have any questions, you can contact me. My email ID and my phone number is there. Uh, uh, I hope pupils will be enjoy. Uh, pupils have enjoyed my video. I hope you will be. Uh, you, you 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 are having very tough time in this corona or in this lockdown period. Uh, go through my videos. Uh, study well. Thank you. Thank you very much.